Hey guys, I'm Siobhan, first year medical resident. Um, it's 4.45 p.m. right now. I just finished working the whole day on the infectious diseases service. So from 8 a.m. until now, and now I've just changed hospitals, just got here, and I'm starting to meet up with the night team. So we'll be covering the teams overnight, so all the patients on the ward, and we'll be admitting pa new patients who come into hospital. So before we get started, I'm just gonna have to grab a pair of scrubs, so come on with me. And this is the scrub machine. Basically, you just put your card in, put in the size, and then you wait. The machine will then tell you which door to go in, so it says five. So you open the door, and then you'll see one of these little open. You open it up, and you've got your clean pair of scrubs. Another pair that I need to return, so basically you have this other machine right beside it. It's also a scrub X. You just swipe your card, it recognizes who you are, and then all you have to do is open this. It has an area for the top. I put the top in, <laughs> sorry, and uh, you've got the bottom. So then you put the bottoms in, you just close it up, and it'll give me a credit back on my um, account so I can take more scrubs out. Okay, so next up is getting my call room key and then getting to my room and I can change. So I just changed. Um, it's just coming up in five o'clock now, so I've got a rush to get to handover, um, but I will show you the call room later. All right, so it's 11.45 now, and one console turned into two. Um, I actually still haven't been back to my call room yet, so I haven't had a chance to show it to you. Um, instead, now I've taken a moment just to go to the resident room, and I'm gonna have my dinner <laughs> very late. So um, I'm really happy because my mom came and brought me a bunch of food uh, the other day, so I get to have homemade food. I just warmed it up. This is something called kufta curry. So it's basically meatball curry, and it's got sweet potato in it. I've got to head back to the emergency department. Um, I've got to follow up on a bit of blood work, and then I think that there's another consult that's on its way that I'm going to have to do. So, you know, take this zen moment and just, you know, feel like a little bit of relaxation and then go back down to it. So it's 3.45 in the morning, and I'm heading back to the call rooms for the first time tonight, which gives you a sense of how busy it's been. So two consults turned into three consults and lots of chest pain. So chest pain and shortness of breath was the name of the game um, tonight. And so I think I've got these patients sorted out um, and now I'm heading to get a little bit of sleep. Here's the call room. So pretty standard room. Got my bed, got a lamp and um, computer, got my stuff already here from earlier, um, yeah. But before I head to sleep, I just want to share this week's featured question, um, which is, what do I actually carry around with me in my bag? <laughs> and so let me show you. Okay, so here's my bag that I carry around all the time. I've got um, the three pagers that are lined up um, that hang off of me <laughs> um, here and this zipper here normally I keep um, my cell phone but I'm filming with it right now but normally I keep it in there so it's easily accessible and then inside I actually kind of have a lot of stuff in here um, I have uh, my charger of course for my phone very important um, and then I keep like a bunch of little handbooks and, and sort of cheat sheets Oh, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Um, so this is an ACLS guideline. So it tells you what to do um, when someone's heart stops and what we do to try to resuscitate them. So we get trained in the ACLS algorithm. So I, I got these handouts, so I keep those with me. Um, we also have, um, it's sort of like a little cheat sheet about the different dosing for our patients who are very, very sick, usually ones who are going to the ICU, um, and or if they're having an arrhythmia, uh, if they're putting on a ventilator, so very useful. And especially when patients are so sick, personally, I like to have that feeling of security. Um, so my Tylenol, <laughs> that's, you know, just in case I wasn't feeling well or developed a headache or something. 
and got my pocket medicine. I think I've showed this to you guys before. Um, it's such an awesome resource and you can look up all sorts of things like how to treat or um, like here, breast cancer. So it would go through what to do in the middle of the night um, or actually any time for your treating. This is whole whole cancer area. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a great book. Anyway, I really like it. So I, I carry this one around. It's a nice resource. What else have I got in here? I always carry a book around just to um, make notes, just a blank book, notes about what I want to study or things I've been learning. This, I'm not going to pull this out, but these are my um, patient lists. So it's a list of the different patients in the hospital that I'm looking after, but of course, confidentiality, I'll leave those in there. I've got <laughs> a million pens just in case. Um, what else? Let's dig a little bit further in here. Gum critical, especially in the middle of the night. <laughs> um, my hand sanitizer. So there's lots of hand sanitizer in the hospital, but here's a little bit of extra just in case. It's actually a lot of stuff and I carry that around with me. Sometimes I think my neck actually gets a little bit tired, to be honest. <laughs> okay, I realized that wasn't the most elegant way of showing what's in my bag <laughs> with one hand and sort of everything sprawled out all over the bed, but it's almost four in the morning, so hopefully you guys will understand. <laughs> anyway, now I'm gonna go to sleep. Maybe with some luck, I won't get paged or have to do another consult before the morning. Um, yeah, so good night. 6 a.m., got paged, and uh, now I'm heading down to the emergency department again for another consult. Honestly, this is the time of the night that I dread the most because you're so close to almost being done and then you get roped into one more. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine once I just get down there, but right now I'm just feeling like hungry and kind of nauseated and just want to go to sleep. One eternity later. Just heading out now and I remember that someone had a question about whether we have showers here in the call rooms and the answer is we do. And here you go, you can check it out. We've got a padlock and the shower's right there. So just heading home now. It's a bit chilly, so I actually have my hood up for the first time this year. And basically, I just wanted to say that at this moment, after such a long day, I'm just feeling so grateful that I've had an awesome team with me. So in the middle of the night, you can be like laughing and joking about things in the consult room. And the other part is being able to bounce ideas off them. If there's someone in the ward and I just wanna make sure that I'm doing the right thing or find out someone else's impression or thoughts, I've got a bunch of people I can text, call, just show up downstairs in the emergency department and people are willing to talk. So you don't feel alone. It's a, it's, I'm so grateful for that. Anyway, so thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you subscribe if you haven't already. And I've got some really fun uh, Christmas themed videos coming up in the next couple of weeks. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. Comment if you guys have questions that you want me to feature next time. And for now, I will chat you guys later.